Hello, Hilltop fans. Welcome to week four of our online learning. I am so proud of the way that we're playing Tone Savvy, and I'm having so much fun playing with you. Uh, my, my favorite parts of the whole day is being able to get online and answer your questions about music theory and help you along the way. I love watching as people get through challenges that they, they were stuck on. Like I love helping you do that. So if you get stuck somewhere, I would love to help you. Um, the way you do that, Use the Tone Savvy Support Request form that's in there. That's going to ask you the questions that I'm going to need to know to give you the best help that I can. Uh, another thing you could do is if you can't find that, send me an email. Or, and a lot of you have been doing this, I love this, visit me during my office hours, 12.30 to 1.30. Um, I answer questions in the order that people arrive, so I do my best to get to everybody as quickly as I can. But that's my opportunity. I can walk you through the challenges right there. Of course, you can always just stop by office hours to say hi, but I'm also here to help you with what you're doing. When you get done with your Tone Savvy for the week, I would encourage you to look down your page a little bit. I have an enrichment section that is in addition to, that is after you get your graded tone savvy done, this is the next thing that you can add in. I have battles every week where you are comparing one artist to another and choosing who you think the winner is. We have a saxophone battle to start and the winner of that canon Adderley is posted along with some additional music that you might want to listen to and check out. We had a trombone battle last week. Who's the winner? You're going to have to scroll down and find out and check the profile. And you'll see a new battle posted today as well. So check it out. I always recommend having some music to listen to while you're doing your work. And I think jazz is the perfect thing to do that. Um, we also have some arcade challenges. I've posted two of those so far. If you're looking for a way to practice your fingerings for your instrument or do some music math, I want to see if you can beat my score. Uh, and then, if you are, have ever thought about playing scales on your instrument, which I know is a new skill for many of us, we're learning about scales and tone savvy, and now you have a chance to play them on your instrument by taking the Tone Savvy Scale Challenge. So, in your tone savvy levels, can you play the scales that appear there? There's a video there that demonstrates all of that and talks you through it. So watch that, take the challenge, make your video, and submit through there. Um, and for this week, that's it. Visit me during office hours, everybody. And I very, very, very much hope that I get to see you in class soon. But until then, I will see you online.